I think the most beautiful thing about singularity is that whole concept of from scarcity to abundance. A lot has changed in the last few years since this conference started. We've gone from AI will never work to, oh my God, AI is going to work. And what does that mean for humanity? I'm super optimistic on it. I'm bullish that you can do well by doing good. Less financial stress, more money in the economy. What we believe is that's the key to abundance. What I find particularly fascinating about Singularity University is the amount of curation that happens for all these disruptive technologies and applying it to what is actually going on. Oftentimes things that aren't theoretically perfect work well practically. We have always used our machines to extend our own reach. I now have a way to send money between any two phone numbers in the world in real time for free. That is not possible today via any banking system that I'm aware of. This type of hyper exponential growth by a small group of people was never possible before. And these developments have a profound impact on society. You have to find a fundamentally different way to do banking. I think there's a lot that we can do as an industry to become better for consumers. There are 7 billion people in the world. 80% of transactions for those 7 billion people still happen in paper cash. So one out of every five dollars you earn, you pay for financial service. There is a real opportunity to engage people in a different way. When you take an immutable database and you make knowledge available to everybody in the world for free, that's pretty cool. So we're becoming smarter. Our information about problems and what's wrong with the world is getting exponentially better. Financial analysts often spend most of their time searching for data and it turns out to be hard to do. This system provides semantic search in the financial arena. Have you noticed the ship has come in on artificial intelligence? The promise is disruption itself. This innovation is going to make things so much better. Which is really what we aim for. We're trying to build a community and trying to build essentially kind of a tribe of like-minded individuals, people who are change makers and want to go out there and be the, the thinkers and the doers within their organizations. If you start to compete against a firm that starts to adopt the crowd religiously, you will lose over time. One of the great things about SU is that I think they offer a balanced perspective. People might accuse them of being, you know, Silicon Valley wide-eyed optimists, but the fact of the matter is, is that every one of the faculty members takes seriously the public policy, legal, ethical, moral implications of the technologies we create. I have to say that Singularity puts on one of the best conferences that I've ever attended. We really try to find this balance between kind of main stage conversation and, uh, and panels and, and our keynotes and having lots of opportunities for people off stage and out of the main ballroom to come together and to connect with speakers directly, to be able to connect with their fellow attendees. I was absolutely thrilled to be invited because I do love living in possibility as we all do. As much work and interesting connections happen outside the room as happen in the room. Simply because the people that attend these conferences tend to be, you know, on the cutting edge of innovation and really are thinking the big thoughts around what is coming in five and ten years' time. You know, that kind of intersection and interaction um, is actually what changes the world. So we're becoming smarter. Things are getting better. Ultimately, there's no limit, in my view, to what machines will be able to do. And if we get involved, our future will be incredibly bright. It should be obvious by now that we are all in this together. And so uh, I look forward to exploring that with you.